All right, guys, we're back. We're back from the tournament, the national championship. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, um, how that went. Fantastic experience, but check out this fog that's rising right now. Check it out, man. That's the that's the lake breathing, and that to me signifies aggressive crappie. No doubt about it. The water temperature is dropping drastically, and so we're going to be talking about that and everything you can be doing here in the fall time to be fishing. Excited to be back. Can't wait to start casting for them again, you know? Got a lot of guide trips coming up, so if you guys are interested, hook me up, let me know, and uh, let's do this right now. All right, so it's great to be back. I can tell you that the Crappie Masters Elite Series unfortunately won't be continuing, but I can tell you that experience at the National Championship was unforgettable incredibly tough bite dropping on massive fish and we could not get them to bite for to save our lives we had a great start starting off in 12th spot after day one and we were just you know drop of water to 10th place in the in the top 10 but on day two we knew we had a ton plenty of fish there just needed one or two just to bite unfortunately we did everything we could and we couldn't do it it's, it's called fishing that's what it is and we we just kind of was it kind of went to the fact that hey we're just gonna drop 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 and you know, in hindsight, you know, there's always hindsight, always hindsight. Uh, I wish we would have went deep, maybe at about the 11, 11 o'clock and just stayed deep. But we knew that we had the majority of the fish, the good fish where we were at. And that's why we stayed and we gambled and that's what happens. We dropped the 15th, not bad, still very proud. We still uh, did very well in the tournament. And uh, there's always next year, which we will be doing the national qualifiers. So we're excited about that. Now. Just to highlight before, now check out the steam though. This is like beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Um, you guys check out PTG over there near Grenada. They are loaded up, those nasty jigs. I used them all weekend, all week. They are incredible. They were built for Grenada, nasty jigs. You can get them on my website, but you can also just get them at PTG if you're there at Grenada. Um, and they'll certainly even mail them out to you. But they got three pound fishing hammers. Look at that, I cannot wait to get the hammer going. They're loaded down. So, all right. So we're gonna go shallow. Water temperature is dropping drastically. We're going shallow. That's where we're going. No split shot. We're gonna see what we can do. First fish, but he's a small guy. All right. something there that's a nice little plum tree right there Good eater right there. You gotta love little eaters. They're perfect for the skillet. But we let them go here at three pound fishing. We let them live. Well, we are trying to dig deep into this structure right here. They're only about eight, nine feet down. Actually as little as six, but so not super shallow right now. But we're gonna go there. Goodness, they are all over. Now this is the uh, all white hair jig. Buy them singles, very inexpensive, like $2 or something. Buy them on my website. Um, but they're awesome to have. 
buy a bunch of them because these things are freaking hot. I mean, just hot. Number one jig on the guide trip yesterday. Look at that. That's a good fish right there. That's a black nose. You guys, uh, I'm sure by now are familiar with a black nose, but you can see the actual black stripe along. Very aggressive fish. Tastes the same as any other crappie, but uh, just a pretty fish. And that's about 11 incher. Now we're really just scoping out for a guide trip tomorrow is kind of our plan to see whether, and there's a, it's a husband and wife duo. So for that, I like to find spots that are easy, wide targets so that everybody can enjoy themselves. Um, so we don't go for small targets, usually in that combo, unless they request it, of course. But um, the bigger combos make it easier. We catch a lot of fish. The, the, you know, the wife has enjoys the time. Usually, most times than not, it's the, it's the guy that's been fishing a lot and the female's just coming around just to enjoy time with her husband. And so I like to make sure she's enjoying herself. And this is a pretty good pile right here, to be honest with you. I don't think we'd have a problem putting a few fish in the boat on our way to the other bigger piles. Look at those guys. Those guys look pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, we know we can catch fish right here. There's plenty of them. We're going to move on. Mmm, good fish. Good fish there. Good solid fish. Mmm. Baby, that's a good fish. That's what we like to see. Using the hammer 10, baby, you ain't, you're gonna always get it done the hammer 10. Feedback's been incredible. We've got the new three pound fishing 13 footer is gonna be released, I believe on November 1st. You guys are gonna love it. It uh, is gonna be a treat. Also the new three pound fishing reels will be loaded will be released November 1st. We'll at least start the pre-sale at that point, but they're expected to be here any day. I added the split shots, all these fish down deep, so I figured what the heck, we're gonna add it and we're gonna fish these on our way to the next stop. Uh-huh. Easy peasy, first drop with the white hair jig now we're using uh on grenada just to kind of give you guys a little bit of info on that now i did use the 12 pound sniping braid the whole time um why did i use the 12 pound because we were catching those suckers really shallow and anytime i feel like we're going to really set the hook aggressively i'm going with the 12 pound now typically on grenada i would use the optimize um but 12 pound worked incredible me and mike both used it um and so I don't see what was in my boat, but at the same time, it was just fantastic. No concerns. We never, uh, we boat flipped everything, unfortunately. I mean, they just, we never, even the 247 was our biggest fish. We boat flipped that. So check out the, the, the 12 pound Meteor. Um, it's a, really, it is a popular uh, weight there on a Grenada. Had another one. Yeah, these guys are aggressive. This is this fall fishing guys is just incredible i mean you just can't be it's just like they everywhere and uh you can book a guy trip and it's i always say it's the fast pass to success um you get to see do learn and then uh, and that's whether it's my lake or anybody's lake um, take advantage of the guides out there and their expertise they're doing it every day all right guys um i'm gonna tie up one of my 
rods here. Now I, I always keep four, I got four hammer tens in the boat. They're always rigged up with something else. Now, unfortunately after a guide trip, tend to have some things that break off. <laughs> and uh, that's part of the, that's part of being a guide. So usually when I get in the boat and I'm fishing by myself, I'm fixing everything up, getting it rigged up for the next guide trip. But I did want to kind of share some of my experiences and what we're going to be doing for 2024 if you guys will entertain me on that while I do this. Um, we are going to be doing a, a lot of bait sh uh, shows. The current plan is to uh, do the Let's Go Fishing Show in Collinsville. We are already set up there. The um, plan is to be at Grizzly Jig first week of February and then um, the Tennessee show later in the month of january i believe it is and so i think that's in knoxville so that's our that's our current plan in terms of the shows we'll be fishing the national qualifiers and we are definitely already set up for darbone uh, grenada Ren lake and then i believe we go back to darbone for the national championship so we're going to be spending a lot of time down in louisiana we love darbone it's just a it's just a fun lake to fish um, a lot of big fish so and I that's so that's the current plan for 2024 now we do have a couple new sponsors coming on board for next year I'll share that information at a later time but otherwise all of our current sponsors remain the same um, including the original fish formula so should be a good 2024 excited about it um, gonna be very active in the springtime so um, and I and I always tell people in terms of guide trips um, really come about December seems like when the families get together they tend to um, make plans and guide trips so usually I start getting booked up right there around the Christmas season so if you have an interest in a guide trip book now grab some dates and uh, all right so this rod I'm gonna put the the carrot this is the one you can buy in singles it's awesome um, I've had people buy them like 20 at a time. It's amazing. And it's just a simple hair jig, man. And it's only one thirty-second ounce. Um, now, if you want me to make a different version, it's a one sixteenth. I can do that. But these right here are quick, easy, and um, they're incredible for my lake. Um, I use the optimal sniping braid on my home lake because I'm casting. It's a caster's dream. Um, I do not cast the 12 pound, I do not cast the optimized, although I have, but um, I really favor, that's a horrible loop knot, that's a horrible loop knot. Um, I really favor the optimal because, but you have to have give because this is only a .10, it is only a four strand, it is some light stuff. And, but you'll never, I mean, once you experience the casting of it, it's amazing, it's not meant to drop and go that's what we use that meteor for but anyway that's a loop knot and that is the single carrot hair jig and this thing's been hot and we're gonna fish with that one oh and there's our first drop with the carrot Yes, the carrot is live and a great, great hair jig. I love it. Nice little eater. Oh, that's a little guy. Little guy, little guy. They are all aggressive right now. It's amazing. No matter what time of day you go out, it seems that they are uh, they are biting. All right, guys. So obviously, I mean, hair jigs are just flat out working. Um, but that's the carrot. That guy, you know, how many how many drops? Three or four drops and two or three fish. Ooh, I got some black stuff right here. What's that from? And uh, so you check out those hair jigs. Hammer ten. Sun's come up. The wind rider's on now. This is that without a doubt my favorite one. I love the colors on it. And uh, appreciate you guys following. We're gonna be putting out a ton of content. Check out the TikTok. I'm telling you, every single day, I'm putting stuff out on TikTok every day. 
Um, and then on YouTube, it'll be two videos a week as normal. So I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe and share the videos. That helps out me. Helps me out a lot. Uh, puts fuel in the fire. So see you guys.